today I want to talk about control and who's really in control of our lives. Who's really in control of my life? It's me, but what is me? <laughs> so is it my thinking? Is it my heart? My inner child? My emotions? All of these have their part to play. Am I observing my life? Yes. So I'm the observer. I'm the witness. I'm the inspiration. <laughs> I'm the I'm the wounded child and I'm also like the angry reactor. I'm all of these things within my life. So I have my ego, my inner child, my heart, my soul. And they're all playing this part to make up me. And this is just one way of categorizing different aspects of self. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm moving through life in this way and having feelings about what comes to me, having reactions based on those feelings and observing myself as I do it. <laughs> and then having thoughts about all of that. And then the cycle repeats itself. <laughs> so um, where does our ability to control things lie? Well, we have our actions and how we act in the world ultimately. And that's sort of the end point. Where does an action begin? Well, it begins with decisions and feelings and reactions. So if something happens to us and we react, that's predetermined by how we felt at the time. And how we felt at the time is determined by how we feel most of the time. <laughs> and how do we feel most of the time or in certain situations? Well, we have an ability to decide how we're going to feel. And that's one way to set up our lives. Now, we don't know the outcome because we can't control the situations that we're going to be in. But we can, to an extent, control how we feel. And when we do that... We set ourselves up for living a life that we designed consciously. Um, let's see. If we're going to take actions that are planned, well, those are also dependent on our feelings. And we're able to conceive of actions that we feel we are able to do and manifest situations where we can act in accordance with how we feel about ourselves. So we really need to get clear on how we feel and in order for love and inspiration to come through, we need to live with feelings of love and inspiration in our heart. So it's really crucial to, um, to cultivate these feelings in our spare time and to, to think about how we feel, connect with how we feel, feel how we feel without thinking about how we feel and honor ourselves in that way so that we can clear a channel for love to express itself through us. And when we start to do that, we're going to start to create heaven on earth. So thank you.